In Creo Parametric, you can customize the background color using either one of the default colors or your own custom color. But the important thing is, if you want Creo Parametric to use that color scheme the next time that you launch Creo, you need to set a config.pro option. Also in this video, we will take a look at utilizing some of the old wildfire color schemes. First off, if you want to change the background color, you will go to File, Options, and then Options, and on the left, you'll see System Appearance. At the top, you have a drop-down list for the different themes. So there is a default theme. When I change that, you can see how the colors of the skin and also the background change. Let's go to the light theme. And there is a dark theme. And then in Creole Parametric 10.0, we also have this midnight theme, which is listed as experimental. I'm going to change back to the default theme. Then for the interface dropdown, well, we have the default theme. If you change to light, you can see the changes and then dark, it changes the skin as well. Let me go back to the default interface. And then we have underneath system colors, there's the default. Here we have light, which is the previous Creo parametric default, and then dark. And then we have black on white and white on black. And there's also a choice for custom. I'll go into this more in a moment. So those are the default options that you have available to you. But let's say that you're not happy with any of those. Actually, before I do that, let me change back to the previous Creo default. If you want to create your own custom background color, expand the graphics link underneath global colors. And then over on the right, here's where we have background. And you can use one of the different theme colors. For example, let's say I want to use the orange color. Wow, way too bright. Let's change to maybe the light blue over here. Or we want to go to maybe this brownish reddish color. If you want to create your own custom color, you can click on more colors and this will open up the color editor. There are a couple of different ways of doing this. You can use the slider bars in order to adjust the red, green, and blue levels of the background. And you can see how it updates in this little field and also in the background. One of the ways that I like to use is the color wheel. You can just click on the color wheel until you find something that you are happy with. And so when I pick this one and I'm happy with it, I will click the OK button and that shows up as my background color. You also have the ability to define a gradient. Sometimes people like to have the color fade from one color to another. It is currently set to no gradient. We go back to gradient and let me go to more gradients. And then up at the top, I can click on this little cell in order to configure the color that I want to use up at the top. And you can see how everything adjusts. Let me crank down the green a little bit. And then I will click the OK button. And then for what we want to appear on the bottom, we can adjust that one as well. Maybe I want to have a pure white color down at the bottom. So I'll crank the RGBs all the way up to 255 and click the OK and then click OK. And now I've got my own custom gradient color set up. Now here's the important part. At this point, if I just click the OK button, it will change my colors, but only for my current Creo Parametric session. If I want to have this color loaded every time I launch Creo Parametric, I need to export my system colors file and set a config.pro option to it. The way that you export it is by clicking this export button down at the lower left-hand corner of the dialog box. This will open up a save dialog box. The file will be saved under syscall with the file extension .scl. And you should save that in the same location as all your other different configuration files that you have customized for Creo Parametric. I'm not actually gonna save it because I have my own system color file that I like to use. I'm just gonna click the cancel button. If you save your own system color file, you do have an import button up here that you can use to load it in manually. But again, you probably want it to be read in automatically every time that you launch Creo Parametric. The way that you do that is by going to the configuration editor and you want to set a config.pro option. 
I'll scroll down to show you where it is. It is called system colors file. Here it is right here. And I'm gonna make the dialog box a little bit wider just so that you can see the entire description. It says, specify the system color file. Use the full path name to avoid problems. So here I have it pointed to my folder with all my different configuration files and syscall.scl. If you don't know that it's called system colors file, you can always use the find button and you can type in as the keyword colors and hit the enter key. In this case, we had two different options come up and the one that you want to use is the second one. I'm going to close out of here and cancel out of here. So that is the basic way in which you set your system colors file. One last thing, there are people who like the old wildfire color schemes, like the ones that you had in wildfire three, wildfire four, and wildfire five. If you go into the PTC tech support knowledge base, you can find these different system color files, but I've also made them available to you on my Dropbox. If you go to my website, www.mcaeconsulting.com, there is a button available that you can click on for the Dropbox, and they're located in a folder called System Color Files. That's where you can grab those old Wildfire 3, Wildfire 4, and Wildfire 5 system color files if you want to apply them to your Creo Parametric.